Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for April 9th through the 15th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This is for the sign of Libra. We are going to get one of these oracle cards and reveal it at the end. See if it resonates with the reading. We will go with that one. This is for the sign of Libra. What do you have? <laughs> Things don't want to shuffle for you guys. This is the first time that this has happened. I mean, something doesn't want to come together. Or if something is falling apart because, you know, those other, that whole chunk fell out. Those just didn't want to shuffle. So something is going on where things are not going together as well as they should be. Libra. See? Falling right out. Uh, somebody could be losing faith in a relationship. There could be too much drama or fighting. This is also standing your ground or fighting for something. You, somebody, Maybe it's you wanting to fight for a relationship, but somebody doesn't want a commitment here. Not sure if that's you or the person you're dealing with, but this is a lack of commitment, lack of faith. Yeah, somebody, you know, there could be some mild conflicts. There could be some communication that comes in that you really don't want to hear. Whew. So, yeah, it looks like things, there, there could be some communication that is very... Uh, not well thought out, put it that way. Something could happen that brings about some sort of mental conflict, okay? There's definitely some conflict here, okay? There's, there's some conflict. And you may be, you know, you may be on the defensive about it. Something could happen that happens very quickly. It could happen very suddenly. There is definitely some sort of words being said that are not well thought out. Put it that way. Whew, you're most likely dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay? You could be dealing with somebody who is very hot-headed and stubborn, and this person could be any sign. You have air signs and earth signs. So you're either dealing with another air sign or you're dealing with an earth sign. That's what it looks like to me. And I feel like there's a soulmate connection here. You know, it could be any sign because we all have different elements in our chart, so don't, don't hold it to that. But I feel like there's a soulmate connection here, and somebody isn't committing to the soulmate connection. Somebody isn't um, communicating. They could have been lying uh, to you about a situation, and they may have left you independent, okay? And it feels as though someone is... They may be only focusing on their career, their money, okay? So you may be dealing with somebody who was only interested in financial stability, financial security at this time and not really interested in a commitment and probably you are interested in a commitment if somebody is some, one this is one sided okay one person isn't wants a commitment wants a relationship the other person does not and it's causing a lot of conflicts okay i feel like i mean with the 8 of swords in reverse there's, there's somebody that needs to to remove some obstacles from them li their life somebody has been lying and somebody needs to get to the bottom of these lies 
and remove themselves from the situation and take care of themselves and really love themselves and find their self-worth and stop defending themselves. Stop fighting for something, okay? <clears throat> I feel like somebody here is needing to really focus on their own security, their own stability, their own inner worth, their own self, okay? This is what this says. It's like, I need to focus on me to get back to where I need to be. And that, that will involve removing obstacles from your life. Stop fighting with whoever this person is, okay? You're dealing with somebody who brings a lot of drama into your life. <clears throat> um, somebody that's very stubborn and I feel as though somebody needs to take care of themselves right now you need to put yourself first you need to really find your own self-worth Yes, you do. Somebody really needs to find their own self-worth and find, find their own inner beauty, you know, and let their beauty uh, bloom, okay? Somebody's going through a renewal, a rebirth here. And I feel like there's a lot of inner strength that you have, Libra, that... is being taken for granted, all right? I think your inner beauty is being taken for granted by somebody who lacks faith or lacks the ability to commit, okay? And it's causing you a lot of mental conflict here. I mean, these are both self-worth, okay? And inner beauty and outer beauty, you have it. I just want to make sure this is zoomed in before we go any further. I knew it wasn't. All right. So I feel like it's time to do the practical thing. Be practical. Um, wow. You know, there's a feeling of independence here, of enjoying the finer things in life. Really, really... Loving myself. I love myself. Um, I know what I deserve. I think that you guys have went through a period of soul searching. And you're working on bringing stability and security back to your life. But you're dealing with somebody who has been lying to you. I mean, the Eight of Swords reversed is lies. Okay, so somebody has been lying to you. And it feels as though... There's been a lot of power struggles back and forth. It's almost like you've been playing games with another person. And it feels like now the light is truly being shed on the situation. You may be receiving some communication or some epiphany or something very suddenly that opens your eyes. Yeah, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who has a wandering eye and they're not willing to... Um, be stable and secure with you, okay? You're dealing with somebody that is probably blocking you, you know, from achieving the goals that you deserve. You're dealing with another person that is not communicating well. They aren't, they aren't um, committing fully to building a foundation with you. I feel like you are very beautiful. You have a beautiful soul. You've done your inner work. You've done a lot of healing. You've gone through some sort of renewal, some sort of rebirth. And you're probably vibrating very highly at this time. But you're still dealing with somebody who is very indecisive and unable to commit. It feels as though, you know... You have probably regained your focus to bring happiness back to your life after playing a lot of games with another person. I feel like you've accepted the truth of a situation. Um, you've probably regained some of your power back 
and you're starting to feel really happy again. I see a lot of happiness here. I do. I feel like you guys are, wait, you've gone through some sort of awakening and rebirth and renewal. And it feels like you guys are really doing well, doing very, very well on your own, fulfilling your own wishes. Really, you guys have gained a lot of focus and, and you have like relit the fire within you. That's what it looks like to me. It feels like you guys are making your own selves happy. I see a lot of happiness here. Maybe you guys have let go of a situation. You really have let go. But, you know, I feel like you guys had been sacrificing needlessly. Maybe you still are. Or maybe you've woken up and you've decided, I'm not going to sacrifice anymore. It's time for me to, to stand up for myself. Because, we, I mean, this could both be standing up for yourself. And when you stand up for yourself, it brings about a feeling of inner power. You know, I think you guys have regained some of your inner power. I do. Yeah, it feels like you were you were dealing with somebody or you still are that was emotionally unavailable and didn't communicate well. There's you there's been some blockages here. Some there has been. I mean, there's definitely twice now I see blockages. Somebody has been blocking happiness. But I feel like you guys have decided that you were going to master your emotions, put yourself in the driver's seat, and, and move on from a situation. It looks like you guys have went through some sort of, sort of transformation through soul searching. You have. You've went through a major renewal, and you're probably vibrating at a very high level. And you're probably taking care of yourself very, very well at this time. But I don't think that the situation, whatever it is, whoever this person is that you're dealing with that is emotionally unavailable, I don't think it's completely over yet because the world card is reversed. It means that you haven't completed the cycle quite yet. The cycle has not been completed yet. Even though you're making progress and you're headed in the right direction, there's still some power struggles here. You're still struggling with it. Even though you're much happier than you have been in the past, I see a lot of happiness here. You guys are still feeling a little left out in the cold and insecure about this whole situation. But you're starting to restore balance to your life. You're starting to restore control. You're taking back the control. You're taking back the power. I feel like the truth has come out and you are, you are seeing the truth. And I feel like something is ending some sort of betrayal, some sort of um, deceit or mental conflict that has been holding you back is coming to an end. It is. It is coming to an end. I feel like you guys are seeing the truth. You're accepting the truth. And you, it may not be over yet, but you have made a lot of progress. A lot. You're, you're restoring balance. You are. You're bringing back control to your life. You're taking control. The power is in your hands and nobody else's. That's what I see. I feel like you guys have avoided some sort of disaster. You've made a clear decision to let something go, to let something end, to let go of this depression, anguish, despair, and stop losing sleep over this loss. I think that you guys have come to some sort of conclusion that this is how it is. I'm going to be happy no matter what. I'm moving on. I'm going to be stable and secure. Even if I'm on my own, I'm going to be happy. And I, I see a lot of happiness here. And I think that your beauty is, is quite evident to the outer world, okay? I think you're vibrating at a, at a very high level. You've gained a lot of strength through this process, I, I see that. So I feel like this is a week of acknowledging the truth, accepting the truth, and being happy with it, whatever it is. I feel like you guys have avoided some sort of disaster and you're letting go of the period of sacrificing yourself forever for a situation that, or with somebody that didn't want to commit. 
So I feel like you guys have come to the conclusion that I'm going to be happy without you. Whatever this is. Or if you're in a coupled relationship and you're with somebody, you're letting go of, of worry. You're letting go of depression. You're letting go of the power struggles to be happy again. I just see a lot of happiness here where you guys are letting go of something. I think for, for most of the, this is for people that are that are single that have been going through some sort of hurt. They've gone through uh, uh, a rebirth. And they're allowing themselves to be happy again and let go of the, the, the struggles that have been holding them back. That's what it looks like to me. I see a lot of happiness here. A lot of happiness. I'm going to be happy. There could even be a new relationship for some of you if that's what you're looking for. There could be. But I think for many of you, it's I'm happy on my own right now. I'm going to take care of myself. I think you have decided to make a clear choice to let go of the worry, the depression, the despair and accept the truth and not worry about it. And that's what I see. It's like I am going to be happy. I'm happy. I'm happy where I'm at. I'm happy with myself. I'm happy. Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation that's perfect. It is. I feel like this is a week of accepting the reality of the other person's situation as well as your your own. This is a week of regaining all the all that's been lost within you, okay? I think that you guys have done some serious soul searching. You've done a lot of healing. And that your beauty is, I can't think of the word, that your beauty is projected outwardly. You know what I'm trying to say? I mean, I can see that you're glowing. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. I keep seeing all these colors, you know what I mean? With this card, it's like you're glowing. I think the re fire has been relit within you. I really do. I think you've regained your focus. You've regained your concentration. You've, you've just regained your power. So that's what I have, Libra. I think this is a week of vibrating very highly and a week of happiness, understanding, And with the Nine of Swords reversed, you guys are feeling good. I'm not worried anymore. I'm not going to. I'm not going to stress over this. So I, this is a good, good week, Libra. I feel like you guys are really headed in the right direction. And you're feeling really, really good about who you are. Do I see new love coming in? Possibly for a very few of you, there could be a new relationship on the way. For many of you, it's a time of independence where you're enjoying life on your own, taking care of business, and not needing anybody else, feeling happy on your own. So that's what I see. That's what I have. I wish you the best. Talk to you later.